here. We're thrilled to have you here. And uh, are we anywhere near? Or should we just proceed? Go ahead. All right. Uh, let me just mention this first, and he might get this up, and then uh, we obviously have our friends uh, in the back here in a second. But uh, just so you're aware, uh, John is not with us today. His mother is in intensive care and uh, is kind of, who knows? She has pulmonary fibrosis, and, uh, which is obviously the hardening of the lungs, and is... Uh, Last night, her oxygen saturation level, if you're familiar with that, was down to 46%. And then this morning, though, I had the chance to go visit with her, and it had risen all the way up to 80%. So she's kind of hit and miss, but certainly the impact that's having on her organs and different things like that. So it's a, a, an hour-by-hour, moment-to-moment type of situation. So, of course, our thoughts and prayers are with him. And so... Uh, we're, we're uh, it, it's, it's actually, it almost seems like something, it's strange not having them here, but I, maybe I don't, I want to be, uh, it's been a very humbling morning from that standpoint. So with that, we're going to begin our summit, and Andrew, proceed, or are you going to go? Well, let me just mention a couple other key things, just housekeeping. So as you see this, uh, you, you've got this in front of you. Last month, uh, we were in that scenario where uh, we actually had Sotheby's on the sense of the number one office uh, for volume, uh, and this now, if we take the four quarters that are here, we actually have the Union Park office, the number one office in the state of Utah. Uh, and then, just for perspective, we're tracking about 4,800 transactions and sides this year. And so uh, we might be just, a, just barely short of our goal of 5,000. But it is awesome to see what you guys are doing. So keep up the great work. Just by a show of hands, how many are having their best year ever? That's it? How many are having their best year ever, really? I mean, it's awesome. I mean, it's so fun to have these conversations and to talk with individuals and, and see the things that are happening. Uh, today will be very, very important from the standpoint of building on top of that. And I'm very, very excited to share some things with you that I believe will help in that dynamic for you to win the game of simply selling a lot more real estate in 2016. So, you ready to roll? Okay. It's just a reminder of the convention coming up. March 17th to the 20th, and then, bro, you can just, 
is how it will go wide. Otherwise, it will be you need just use an M. Yeah. But if you want to, that's fine. Just and then I'll go in and out of it. Okay. It doesn't matter. So uh, you know, we have a special presentation, and uh, you know, you look at the dynamics of the world in which we live in and the great freedoms that we each have. And I want to recognize Dave Baird, wherever Dave is. Dave's right over there. But uh, Dave and uh, the group set this up, and so our friends of the Utah National Guard are here to present colors. So turn the time over to them. to stand up. Are they here? There we are. All right. Quite a motley crew. Please stay standing. I got to remain standing for a minute. The reason I want to say this is that how many of you guys participate? 
participate, as I said last time. Now that we've done three of these, we've done uh, in Orem, Centerville, and Salt Lake, we did the pumpkin patch. How many participated in that? I mean, a huge group of you. I think the number was well over 5,000, maybe as many as 6,000 people or more came to these events with their sphere. And what an incredible job, and specifically, of course, Mark and him, uh, and what he, Mark and him, yeah, Mark and Jen, my wife did, and then, of course, him, you, right? All right? But uh, my, I almost said Mark, my beautiful wife. My goodness. We're like, we're way off, Mark. All right, Mark and his great work, and also his amazing bride, who's not within our company, but wow, she went way beyond the call of duty if you've had the chance to visit and meet uh, his dear wife, James Sachs, and then Jennifer, of course, my wife, and then Ben and his whole group. So again, I hope that we're supporting the people who are supporting this organization. And uh, these are extraordinary individuals, and so thank you for the hard work that you're doing. So thank you, guys. <laughs> recognize, of course, uh, our home warranty partners and those who are uh, involved in protecting, if you'd say, the homes that we don't, so we don't have to deal with all the tragedy challenge of dishwashers and disposals and all the other different things that come along with that. So our friends at American Home Shield, our friends at First American, uh, and these guys are extraordinary. If you haven't met them, hopefully you will. Uh, they're in the room. Uh, where are you guys? Let's have you guys, have you, they're right there at the back, and Bryant, and then we got Jason back there, and Shelly, and Josh. Yes. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And then, uh, you know, of course, our you know, there's a, there's there's such a connection. And although we are, in some words, a, a different office where we have openings for those at times to want to come and visit with us from other title companies. But you know, one of my dear dear friends, of course, is Louis Hamner and also Jeff Polden. And these guys have an extraordinary organization with between Keystone and Magellan, which is now Vanguard. Uh, if you haven't had the chance to work with them, they are always in great support. Uh, I don't know how many times they've notarized uh, documents for me, but it seems every single day they're personally inside my office. But at the same time, we want to support and recognize all the different title companies uh, and the individuals who are uh, supporting us and they're doing some great work. So thank you all those who are in the title and the escrow side of the equation. Thank you for everything that you're doing and just want to take that moment of gratitude. And then there's another special guy and he's in the room. Where's Sam Bell? Where he is? Stand up, Sam. You know, there's a script in our company and go, oh, there you know who you are. But I, I always say, I don't know, call Sam. This is Sam. <laughs> So Sam acts and obviously is our attorney or uh, our legal counsel. I'm always asked uh, where we stand with legal counsel and where we are as an organization, especially early on in our early days. Uh, this is a guy who's been one of the, uh, he's what we call him, he, what, he's, a, hey, he's a gladiator in a suit, right? Something like that, right? All right. Uh, and then also, is Phil Blair in the room? There you are, Phil. So, Phil, if you don't know, obviously heads out all of our property management and does an extraordinary job there. If you haven't had a chance to visit with Phil, and if you want to be uh, engaged with enthusiasm and excitement about property management, that is your man. And uh, he is also the guy who will protect your clients and has a great referral program and protection program for your clients, especially as they move in uh, or they rent the properties and things of that sort. He'll be there to protect you. So, thank you, Phil. All right? Uh, and then... So our, the first, we, we've, we've, we've set aside December 5th as our holiday party, which we're going to have at the Jordan Commons. However, we recognize there may be a challenge with that date. I mean, most importantly, Ben made me aware that it's the Pac-12 championship, and we know, of course, the University of Utah will be in it. So that's one of the reasons that it could be in conflict, but there's some other reasons. So just stay tuned, and we apologize. I know we're getting back into that time, but in the first week or two of December, uh, is when we will have that event, and that's always a fun event to bring everybody together where you can bring your grandkids or your kids and wherever you are in life and bring the families together because this is what this organization is about. It is about the families and it's about the individuals that are in it. Uh, next, let me just uh, mention a couple of uh, things in regards to... Where are we? You know what? Actually, I got ahead of myself. I'm going to turn... Where's Nikki? There you are, Nikki. 
So Nikki and uh, Kim Cornell. So Nikki, is, are you aware that you're coming up here yet? I just got told. Did you just get told? <laughs> all right. So come on up here for a second. So all, obviously you know that we've raised uh, quite a few thousand dollars. I mean, I think there's somewhere between thirteen, fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars currently in our foundation. And these dollars go towards some great causes. That doesn't stop there. We still need to continue to raise some money. So I want to turn some time over to you to a, uh, share a cause that is going on that you're dealing with, right? Yes. Okay. You're acting surprised. Let me give you a hug to make sure you're okay. Okay, you okay? All right. It's a little intimidating. All right. They're a ruthless group. I promise. Um, so I, I, I haven't put the Orem office and also presented this to our Centerville office, but um, I have a son that's now 10. But when he was three, he collapsed and was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. So on Friday the 13th, this Friday, we are doing a juvenile diabetes awareness for uh, Northern Utah, so Davis and Weber County. And we would love all you guys to support the cause. Um, they, it's at Rush Funplex in Syracuse, which is on 2000 West and Antelope. The passes are $12 per person. $3 goes back to uh, finding a cure for juvenile diabetes um, research. And then we're doing a raffle. Um, the tickets are $1 uh, additional. If you want to, you'll get a ticket uh, with your purchase of a pass. And if you have kids, grandkids, it's an awesome place to bring them. You've got uh, swimming, arcade, bowling, race cars, absolutely everything galore. But there's over 700 kids in Davis and Weaver County that have general life diabetes. And in fact, it was kind of touching when I went up to Orem and had those raise their hands that have been affected by diabetes, whether it was a, a child or a family member. And I think only two people in that whole room um, did not raise their hand. So we definitely hope that you guys can support the cause and yeah. And if you can't be there, maybe you can donate an item that we can put in the raffle. So yeah. That's great. Thank you, Nikki. Yes. That's great stuff. I know there's a number of people even in this room who are passionate about it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then Kim, can you first Kim? Weren't you coming up here also? No. No? You are now. Yes. All right. Okay, so this is an awesome project. Both so, of these are amazing. So next Tuesday, the 17th, so a week from today, we are having the Safe Harbor Women's Shelter Christmas Benefit. If you show up around 6 o'clock, and we can make a look at the trees and kind of keep an eye on which tree we want to maybe possibly bid on, because we will be planning on bidding on a tree. And then uh, at 6.30, the dinner will start, and um, they'll do a little presentation. And this is something that we've done for how long now? Years. Are we going three years? Two years? Three years? Four years? Four, is this the fourth year? Okay. So we have a few tables reserved, so I just need to know who would like to attend, and it's $75 a plate, and if you're not wanting to attend, to sit down at a, the dinner. If you are interested in volunteering and helping out that evening, we are needed that as well. So let me know. It's the 17th, which is next Tuesday. And it's at the Davis County Conference Center. And it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, love to see you there. Okay, great. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Kim. All right. Outgoing referrals, right, Heather? Right. Are you coming up? Yeah. All right. All right, excellent. Hey guys, we are very, very close to hitting our goal and outgoing referrals. A lot of times people ask the question, why does this even matter? Why does CARDIS matter? Let me just give you a perspective. One of my favorite stories is of an agent who did a CARDIS transaction, who did a relocation, though we all know people will complain about the number of dollars that are earned on a relocation. But by the time it was said and done, this agent, this is just recently, ended up with seven transactions down the pathway of the one referral that came in through relocation. That's the one element of it. And the strength and the viability that it makes within the organization and the strength it gives to the organization. The second part, of course, without going referrals, is it allows us to keep the contract. It allows us to have a viable solution for relocation. 
And over and over and over again is we meet with HRs, uh, directors, with presidents and CEOs of different organizations. This is the group that you're seeing that will take that on and help you facilitate that. When you look at the magnitude of what Utah is in regards to business, I hope you're taking advantage of the relocation. It is as important that you call and prospect a standard, let's just say normal, single family residence as it is that you would track down and find every HR director and president and CEO in the state of Utah. There is that much in store for you if you can bring that together from a relocation standpoint and from a transfer standpoint with those individuals. And there is example after example inside this organization where instead of just having one transaction, you have many transactions that begin to unfold. So just know these gals, they're here to help you. They are not your enemy. They are your advocate. They are the people who will help you earn more money if you will think about the fact of why do they exist, why are we here. We just talked about nonprofit organizations. For the record, this is not one of them. Okay? I just wanted to make sure you recognize that. We are in the business of making sure we earn money so that we can go live our dreams, our goals, and all the other objectives that each one of us has. But the reality is, is that we have relocation because it has a profound impact on everyone's future. So when you hear about outgoing referrals, don't turn your brain off. Ask the question, why is that important? We make no money from it as an organization. It is because of the impact it has that trickles down to so many individuals inside this organization after the fact. So just remember how important it is that it is not just empty words, that those outbound referrals are critical to the future, the success, the stability, and the strength of the organization. So with that, there you go, Ms. Barker. Oh, thank you. I don't think it's on. I think it's off right now. It'll take just a second to get on. So we have um, several prizes to give out. As you may or may not know, there's been an outbound referral contest going on. You guys knew about, you know about that? Yeah? All right. Yeah. So we're going to give away a, um, three seven night stays, um, one per office. To Elko, Nevada. To wherever you want. <laughs> to wherever you want. Um, cater lunch for each office and the participants that meet or exceed the office goal. And then we're also going to um, award our $500 cash prize to our Rise of the Challenge contest that we did. So, um, the first office is going to be Centerville. And, you know, I have to, I'm sorry, I meant to introduce you to Alexis DeBerry. She is our outgoing referral coordinator. And I want to give her a round of applause. She has done a great job. <laughs> so, we see these names up here. This, these are the participants in the Centerville office. And they, they met their goals. So, we will be doing a lunch for these participants. And um, they had finished at 34. And I just want to point out that there are several people here that sent several referrals. And um, in this contest, those equaled multiple <laughs> entries into the contest. So for instance, Deanna Haskett has 28 opportunities to win the trip. And Nikki has 21 opportunities to win the trip. So let's go ahead and do the drawing. Who wants to draw? <laughs> The winner is oh. Nikki Nunez. Oh. Oh. Do you want a seven-night stay anywhere you want to go? Elko. <laughs> All right, next office. We've got Union Park. Union Park. There's two slides from Union Park. We had a lot of participants. Thank you so, so much. Um, and several multiple participants. Our goal was 1.30, and we finished at 62. And so that's like 50%, guys. That's not fun. Um, so here's the news. Is that the second slide? Yeah, okay. All right, let's do a drawing. Come on. Eric Braunberger. Woo! Is there a period of Where you want to go, man? Where are you going to go? Hawaii, Sweden. I don't know. 
Say schedule as part of the plan. Okay. That's fine. Uh, tool system. Okay, so systems and strategies and tools. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Who's that? Ben, Ben, what is it? Get help him. Why desire, goals, mindset, skill set, discipline, and systems. Nice job. We saved the day. Good job. <laughs> what is that? Is that 500? Oh, he's almost got five million dollars. <laughs> All right. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Good job. Well done. You can see the impact between the Jason. How come you didn't raise your hand? Well, I should have. Yeah. All right. All right. Just checking. All right. Here is for the 500. Oh, where did I put the microphone? I threw it away. Did okay. you need it? Drum roll. Come on, drum roll. Five hundred bucks. Jennifer Morris. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Deanna Haskins. Too good to be true, Jennifer. <laughs> All right. So here we go. So did I forget anything? You know what? I think I, I forgot one thing. Well, I just want to acknowledge everybody for being here. I mean, you're actually treating this like a job, which is awesome because it's snowing outside, which means that, you know, if you're an agent, you say it's snowing, so well, you can't get out and work. And when it's sunny, you wouldn't stay inside and work. And when it's a fall day, it's too beautiful. And the spring, I don't know. Maybe that's why there's more homes sold in the spring, because you figure you better get to work. I don't know. So thank you for being here. I thought it might just be me and Rob up here and Andrew with this AV uh, dynamics and how good he has that. Right? I've been hard on you lately in public, aren't you? Isn't Andrew awesome? Thank you, 
manager for everything. All right, truly, thank you all the staff, the managers, the brokers, the recruiters, and all the people that are here because someone reached out, whether that be an agent or an individual. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all those who are visiting, you for, uh, visiting us for the first time. We hope that it's not the last time. I hope, right? But you haven't heard the whole presentation yet, so hold on. And uh, other than that, we are excited that you're here. I'm going to turn some time in a minute to Rob, but we want to recognize our employee of the month. This individual who uh, we're going to talk about here just for a second, I have to tell you, I don't know a lot about her other than the fact she does an exceptional job at what she does. And I look back already in the short few months that she's been here, she has saved this organization thousands of dollars and has had a profound impact on the setup of our systems and the dynamics of how we are doing our finances. It's always good to know where your money is. We like that, all right, or where it's not. So with that, I want to recognize Kimberly Sanderson as the employee of the month. So Kimberly is a hometown girl. What high school did you go to? Murray. Murray, a Spartan. Oh. Yeah, what's All right, all right. You can take a quick picture. Yeah, you can take just a quick picture. If you don't know Kimberly, she works hand in hand with Mr. Ryan Robinson, and uh, she is doing an extraordinary job. So thank you for everything that you're doing. We're so excited that you're here, and uh, here's your award. And more importantly, here's the money and the gift certificates and all that good stuff. We'll set this aside here and let's take a quick, pic quick picture here. All right, thank you, Kimberly, thank so you. much. All right, we're going to turn some time over to uh, Mr. Rob Oki, uh, the man you either love or hate. Here he is. If you don't know what Rob does, does everybody know what Rob does? He is. I have scripts. Some of them are like, I don't know, call Gretchen. And then I have this other script. I don't know. Ask Rob. So he's going to talk a little bit about compliance and uh, have a little short message, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right. Oh, Kimberly. Yes. Here's your yeah, here's your gift certificate. Go ahead, Rob. I'm going to take this back to her. Well, with an introduction like that, what, what he also failed to mention is, like Ann. Let's turn this thing on. Top. Rob's now been promoted to head of AV. Perfect. It'll come on. The red light's on, so it should come on shortly. So, yes, I get a lot of the abuse that, that George often sends on. Is it coming now? Can you screw it up? Yeah. Is it better? Is that working? All right. Well, welcome, everybody. <laughs> so, if you don't know who I am, I'm the one that gets, you'll see a lot of emails that are coming out on Tuesdays, typically, that'll talk about things that we're, that we're dealing with on a daily basis. So what we're trying to do is take a, pro, a proactive approach so we can reduce several things that are occurring. One of the things that has happened recently, and thank goodness we've got our attorney, Sam, who's drafted some, some language that we're able to use in this particular situation, specifically with multiple offers. How many of you guys have been dealing with a multiple offer situation where you might be unsure the proper way to handle it? One example, or one, one thing we want to at least make people aware of in a multiple offer situation, if you are representing the seller and an offer comes in, of course you're going to want to, you're, you're entertaining the, the offer you've already received, now you've got another offer you've got to be looking at, so you've got two, three offers that you're possibly looking at. If you accept a secondary offer when you may have already one that's been countered or back and forth, one thing we've got to make sure that's happening is that secondary offer got to make sure that it's contingent upon the, the first offer, whether it be is, is accepted or under review. We've got to just make sure that we prevent two, two or more offers going under contract. So one thing that we've done is created a, a, some language that we'll be ha having available on our back office that we now can avoid that type of scenario. The, one of the big issues that has also been happening is how many have been, if you're a listing agent, you've received like a time clause 
uh, subject to the home being sold, and the buyer then wants to remove that time clause, but yet that home is their, their buyer's home is not sold. What's been happening is people are relying upon the financing and appraisal deadline, even though they remove that contingency. Which I sent a, a, an email about this a couple of weeks ago that just says, "We as agents are we acting truthfully and honestly in our dealings as we are, are licensed and required to do so." So we have some language as well that will will take and satisfy that need, so that we're not going to be getting our, our sellers stuck into a situation. Um, we're gonna we just made this stuff available for you. We're gonna have this available on the back office as well. But the key thing I just want to make sure that we're that we're aware of is I am here to to assist you. I'm I'm on the phone daily with. You know, Sam is probably taking me off his speed dial because I'm talking to him as often as possible. But our own, even with the, the attorneys with the board, I'm constantly talking about information so that when you have a question, that we're able to provide that to you as, as easy as possible and as accurate as possible. So we're here for you, and I, and I am certainly the person that is going to try to do whatever we can to make sure that deal stays together. I like it when people are coming to me in advance, how can we solve this problem, or this is what might happen, so we can work it out together. It's a little more challenging when, hey, I've already done something, how do I get out of this problem? So, that being said, we're here to be able to assist, we're able to help, we're able to do anything we can, and my door's open, door's available, and I'd love to be able to help out any way I can. So, any other questions about that, please come and see me. So, uh, does anybody know how long I've known Rob Oki? Too long. <laughs> hey, that's right. Juniors in high school. So Rob and I actually used to sing in concert choir. And by the way, Joe, I forgot to recognize you. Awesome. That was. I figure if this real estate thing doesn't work out, you've got a career in that thing. <laughs> you know, no, 